Yo, early in the morning, about to make some coffee. Got my like fake Yeezy slides on that I got from Uniqlo. They're actually really comfortable. I'll make sure I link them down in the description box. But before we start, it's coffee time. really chilly in here um let me get this there we go it's a little bit better modus up just a tad there we go what's up everyone jossie here um i got a new setup sort of not from what you can see but basically kind of camera setup but um i finally got a new cord for my monitor so i can actually see myself and it's over there I'll make sure I'm in frame and in focus. Got this new Sigma 24 millimeter F 1.4 lens, which just looks really incredible. The background is just really blown out. Um, a very sharp lens. And it's nice that it has those extra stops of light, which is great, especially since it's so gray here in the Midwest. I also got my microphone that I've been using the past, I think two videos. So the audio should sound much better. So I apologize for previous videos where the audio was bad. But um, with that being said, I'm really excited about today's video where I talk about the five reasons why you should learn how to code in 2021. Before we get started, I want to thank Ritual for sponsoring this video. So this video is kind of almost like a part two to why programming is the best job, or maybe not a part two, I won't say that, but maybe an extension from that video where I talk about why programming is the best job to pursue in 2021. So I talked about more so like the career opportunities that you have and a lot of the perks that you get for being someone who is in tech. So in today's video, I'm gonna talk specifically about programming and the value it has in 2021 and with all the digital transformations and billions of dollars invested in digital. This is the perfect time to learn how to code. I don't care what age you are. I know a lot of you all ask me like, hey, is it too late to learn how to code? Never. If you could give this video a thumbs up, that would be amazing. It helps out with the algorithm, which is gonna help my channel. And I want as many people as possible to be able to view this video and hopefully get some good information that can help them with their career and skill sets that they're looking to gain. Also, subscribe to the channel. I love for you all to become a part of this amazing community. Hit that notification bell so you can know right away when I release a video. All right, so the first reason why you should learn how to code in 2021 is, of course, if you're someone who's looking to become an engineer or to pursue a career in tech. So even traditional engineering majors need to learn how to code. I know that because I graduated with a computer science degree, which was in the engineering college. So I had a lot of classes or a good amount of classes with other majors outside of my own. So I had classes with electrical engineers, civil engineers, mechanical engineers, and maybe even industrial systems engineering um, because the more traditional engineering um, majors actually had to take at least one programming course. And I know for a fact that electrical engineers had to take even more. I think they took like at least like three to five programming courses. And the reason being is because having an understanding of programming is huge, especially when you're a mechanical engineer using MATLAB or you're an electrical engineer who's interested in pursuing embedded systems. And obviously, if you wanna pursue something like software engineering or computer science, you need to learn how to code. So my advice for someone who hasn't started their computer science program, software engineering program, or boot camp is to learn how to code to some capacity. You don't have to be an expert, but just get familiar with the syntax. I think that will be really, really helpful for you before you start your program. I had to get a, another batch of coffee. It gets really, really cold in here. 
Also, sometimes I find myself being unproductive or just kind of sleepy because it's really gray outside and it's not a whole lot to do with the whole quarantine slash you know freezing temperature thing going on but before we continue this video i just want to take a moment to talk about the sponsor of this video ritual do you have a perfect diet day in and day out yeah me neither however i've been taking my nutrition a lot more seriously which is why I'm happy to be collaborating with Ritual in this video. Ritual helps people fill gaps in their diet. Their multivitamins have no fillers, colorants, or shady additives. These two easy take capsules provide 10 nutrients to support a strong foundation for your health. As I just mentioned, I've been taking multivitamins for the past year to support the foundation of my health, especially for vitamins that I can't consume all the time, especially during the winter time in the Midwest because of the lack of sunlight, which could lead to a lack of vitamin D. I decided to collaborate with Ritual since for one, taking multivitamins is part of my daily routine. And because I appreciate that Ritual has created a plant-based essential multivitamins for men that contains 10 high quality nutrients like vitamin A, D, omega-3, and zinc. They also have multivitamins for women, those who are 50 plus, prenatal, postnatal, and 18 vitamin. One thing that I really appreciate about Ritual is the design of their website. It looks amazing and really easy to use. Their visuals are great and they give you very straightforward descriptions of what product they are creating it and what their mission is ultimately. I also really appreciate that Ritual has a deliver to door subscription that makes buying vitamins easier. And honestly, there's less work for me to do because it's one only a dollar a day for 10 high quality nutrients your body needs. I don't have to worry about going to the store to get vitamins. Also, they're delivered straight to your door. Did I mention how amazing this bottle smells? It's like this perfect blend of like mint and like freshness. It's, it smells amazing. Fill in the gaps in your diet with essential vitamins, which is just a small step that helps support a healthy foundation for your body. Ritual is also offering 10% off using this link for three months using this promo code. And all of this will be in the description box. Once again, thank you to Ritual for sponsoring this video and giving me this amazingly minty fresh bottle of multivitamins. The next thing is money. That's important. I mean, people make a lot of money in tech. And that's definitely a driving factor for people to learn how to code. And I think we'll talk more about this later on in the video, but getting those skill sets can help you in many ways, even if your job isn't directly using programming in your day-to-day -day tasks. The average software developer makes a little over $100,000, which is a lot of money, especially if you're not living in major cities and those major cities are paying even more and money is important because you can use it as a tool especially for other interests outside of work i use part of my salary for my youtube channel because i love sharing information and making content and obviously travel and other things programming can help you do that and not only from like getting a programming job but also freelance work which is really dope because if you can understand the freelance market and get to the point where you always have work and always have some sort of customer you can work for yourself and that can give you the opportunity to work remotely and it allows you to have your own schedule and really your own business which isn't that like the american dream programming can help you do that you can turn passion projects into actual startups and you can also do a bunch of freelance work and make really, really good money along with building your skill sets. I know money is the main topic, but it's more so about freedom, being able to work remotely along with, you know, creating your own schedule and working for yourself. So maybe you have some sort of, you know, full-time job that's maybe programming or maybe it isn't. And then on the side, you do freelance work, which you can invest in other passions, which is amazing. And especially those of you all who kind of feel stuck in the career path or um, job that you're in, programming can open up a lot of doors for you. 
The third reason is opportunity. Understanding how code works or having some programming experience can help you in a multitude of ways, even if your job isn't directly tied to programming. For one, it's going to increase the opportunity for you to land a job, whether it's programming, whether it's something within digital or something that isn't not necessarily tied to programming where you're doing that on a day to day basis. And the reason being is because you're showing, you know, recruiters and hiring managers that not only are you dynamic, you like to learn, you're a problem solver and you're up for the challenge and ultimately have a better understanding of the digital world, which is really important considering the fact that the pandemic has made a lot of businesses have to rethink how they're marketing themselves and investing into the digital space. Number four, just quickly want to just talk about having a better understanding of technology, web development, and ultimately how the internet works. If you're looking at like HTML and CSS and JavaScript or, or studying those things that can help you a lot. So you can be more of like a dynamic person. So maybe your company is going to do some sort of digital transformation and there's a new project manager role that's opened up, but you have programming experience and project management experience or business experience. And you are actually able to apply to that role because you spent time working on programming just so you can understand what in the world is going on. Because as we continue to transform digitally more and more as a society, more and more roles are going to require technical expertise, even if it isn't, you know, having all this programming experience, having just the knowledge and technical expertise can help a lot. As someone who works for a large company as a front end dev, I work with a lot of business areas and they definitely need technical expertise. It allows us to work more fluently along with being able to move projects along a lot faster because we're on the same page. Number five, and that's personal development. Personal development is something that I take really seriously and I think or I've at least seen that it seems like it's been pretty hard for people who have unfortunately lost jobs due to the pandemic. And I will say that one thing that I like to do is to focus on personal development, even in my job, because a lot of companies offer time for you to work on other skill sets. And the reason why that's so important is because when, you know, unfortunate events like a pandemic happens and you get furloughed or laid off and all those, you know, unfortunate things, having skill sets outside of your job can really greatly benefit you because I've noticed that some people have been in like an industry for maybe 10, 20 years and never really worked on anything else outside of the specific job they have. And then they go out into the market, to the job market and don't really have any skill sets that matter because nowadays you need basic computer skill sets. That's like basic. You need to know Word, you need to know Excel. And then some jobs require even more technical expertise and you're taking tests and you know aptitude tests for jobs that aren't even technical. So personal development can help you in many, many ways, even if you're not necessarily looking to make a career change because you never know. So that concludes this video. I hope it was helpful. I wanted to make this video um, as early as possible in 2021. Um, that way you can kind of, you know, get your mind thinking about, you know, programming, even if you are maybe someone who's in marketing, because you never know how important programming can be in your field or in your career, especially five, 10 years down the road and want to make sure you are prepared and can get into other roles that are, you know, have more opportunities or higher paying with more responsibility, along with other things that offer a lot of benefits to people who know how to program. So that concludes this video. Once again, I'd really appreciate it if you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel so you can become a part of this amazing community of software developers, content creators, and of course, the curious. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can know right away when I release a video. And as always, have a wonderful, blessed rest of your week. And once again, thank you to Ritual for sponsoring this video. Peace. Pushing your buttons Got a grown man